my students are working hard in a variety of ways because they all have iPads now. Um, only two years ago, I was not able to uh, organize this very vast project because we didn't have the right tools. Now that they have iPads, um, I have been able to give them access to 3D printing, robotics and coding. Um, some of them are working on virtual reality, some are working on augmented reality, uh, some are working on drone technologies and photography. Um, the iPad has just opened up a whole new world for me in this classroom. Change could be scary, but we decided to step out of our comfort zones this year. Our initial fears were we wouldn't be able to accomplish all of our learning objectives with so many other expectations of the classroom. Our initial fears were, would the iPad distract students from focusing on instruction? Would the iPad take the place of the teacher? What type of professional development, resources, and time will we be given to feel more confident by, for implementing this additional form of technology? So as somewhat of a traditionalist teacher, being here 19 years, um, 49 years old, uh, I've watched a, a lot of change in technology. You know, I, the kids tease me here from flip phone to iPhone, um, and I still love my uh, flip phone. But what I would say to teachers who are, I don't want to use the word stuck, but who are very comfortable in their traditional mode of teaching, um, there's a lot of great methods in traditional teaching. I still like paper. I still love books. I will never get rid of my books. But don't be afraid of using t modern technology. The kids uh, love it. This is their generation. And honestly, it's been super beneficial. The learning curve has been uh, big for me. Um, but the kids help me right along. It, it makes them feel very empowered when I don't know how to use something. Even though I'm one of the teachers in the room, they become the teachers too. So together, we learn how to use new technology to our benefit, whether it comes to studying, okay, whether it comes to programs and apps like uh, Kahoot or um, Schoology or uh, Quizlet. There's so many fascinating um, apps that I'm still learning about and uh, my colleagues around the building have been so helpful in sharing. So those teachers who may not yet have iPads, trust me, it's a real uh, welcoming, um, uh, enriching um, addition to this school's uh, tools, bag of tricks, etc. Wait a second, it wasn't that easy. How did we get here? How did we manage to roll out iPads to 562 students? Preparation is the answer. Our tech team consisting of about 10 members met once a week for an entire year. We figured out the logistics such as Schoology being the learning management system, self-service as the school's district app store, the students' passcodes being their locker combination, the students' lock screen wallpaper so that we would be able to identify who they are and many more technicalities. Having a game plan and a great tech team allowed distribution to be seamless. We distributed iPads by team. iPads were given out and set up in our gymnasium. The gym was set up mirroring an obstacle course. Students were directed in a line where they were handed a bag containing an iPad, charger, and earbuds. Faculty and staff prepared for one-to-one -one for year one as well. They planned out how they would incorporate technology into their curriculum during faculty meetings. There were many fears, doubts, and concerns about how this tool would impact their teaching and classroom management. I think it's safe to say that our faculty and staff has exceeded the expectations of administration as well as their use of technology has exceeded their self-expectations. 